Most people perhaps don't realize that Antarctica was not always covered by a continental ice sheet. We know that in the past, during the time of dinosaurs, uh, in the Jurassic and Cretaceous, uh, it was an area with forests and rivers, and it had the same sorts of faunas, fish, amphibians, reptiles, and dinosaurs that we expect in the northern continents. Excitingly, this exhibit brings all that story together. All the earth science research that's been done in Antarctica is discussed in the exhibit. We learn about the history of life on Earth, of course, new species of dinosaurs having been found, and these dinosaurs are the highlight of this exhibit. Well, Antarctica is our most inhospitable continent, and it's very difficult to get down there. It's very difficult to work there. And modern technology, uh, and particularly the use of helicopters and snowmobiles and rock saws, allow us to get into the sites where dinosaurs are preserved and, and excavate them and bring them back to the lab. Everything that's coming out of Antarctica in the dinosaur realm is brand new. They're things that we've not seen before. They're new species. They're related to some others that we're aware of, but uh, everything coming out is, is brand new. This is Cryolophosaurus, the very first dinosaur found in Antarctica. Uh, it's a theropod, a meat-eating carnivorous dinosaur, uh, bipedal, and it's notable for the crest on the top of its head, which is unlike anything that we've seen in, in other dinosaurs, hence it's a, a new species. Cryolophosaurus means cold crested reptile, because uh, <laughs> it speaks for itself. So what's truly great about this exhibit is that the actual dinosaur fossils discovered in Antarctica are here now in Cincinnati on exhibit, and they are the first of their kind. So the original Cryolophosaurus skeleton is here. We have the skull of Cryolophosaurus. It's the holotype specimen. That means it's the name bearer for that species. It was the first described to science. That's here. There's the holotype of Glacialosaurus. There are two new sauropodomorph dinosaurs that don't even have names yet. They're brand new and they're still under study. So it's truly an exciting exhibit. It's not that often that we have the opportunity to pair an exhibit with an Ondamax film so perfectly as this, but in this case, there are two items that were made for each other, so they're perfect complementary experiences, the film and the exhibit. So in the exhibit, of course, we get to see some of the fossil artifacts that have been brought back over the years from Antarctica, and we get to learn about what it's like to visit Antarctica. But in the Ondamax theater, we really take that to the next step. Uh, we get to experience not only what it's like to be in Antarctica, we get to feel everything but the cold and the wind, but we also get the opportunity to immerse ourselves in the environment of the dinosaurs with the dinosaurs all around us. Another great facet of this exhibit is we have a virtual reality experience at the end of the exhibit where a visitor can choose to fly through a Jurassic Antarctic environment. So you simply strap on a headset, and you flap your wings and you can choose your direction and fly through an environment filled with dinosaurs.